What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my predictions for WWE Hall of Fame 2019. Everybody that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video, I'm going to be using WWE's actual format of each category that they induct each year. So for my first pick, he is a star from the 80s and it is the Honky Tonk Man. He currently holds the record for the longest reigning intercontinental champion at 454 days. That is one hell of an accomplishment. However, he declined going in the Hall of Fame back in 2010. WWE made him an offer to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and he declined it. Nowhere says why he declined the offer, but I think in the future he will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It just is a matter of time in my opinion. My next pick is the group or tag team that gets inducted every year. And my pick for this one is Demolition. They are three-time tag team champions. They had a killer gimmick, awesome costumes. They were originally brought to WWE to face the Road Warriors, which was WWE's biggest tag team of the 80s. So they were their biggest competition. And in my opinion, they definitely deserve a spot in the Hall of Fame. I think they recently retired from in-ring action. They were in the indie scenes for years. And I think they recently retired. So I could see them going back to WWE just to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. I think that'd be a great idea. Very, very happy if that does happen. My next pick is the female that gets inducted every year. And my pick is China. I know she passed away, so she could have went in the passed away section. Because every year WWE has one superstar that passed away that gets inducted one deceased person gets inducted every year but I didn't really have anybody else that I thought deserved a spot other than her I think she deserved a spot for a very long time and I could see it happening in the future she made the WWE women very confident to get in the ring and do what they do because she used to face guys back in the day she was the first woman to enter the Royal Rumble she was the first woman to win a guys championship in the WWE she had one hell of a career sadly she did pass away a few years ago she could have went in the deceased category but I already have another pick for that one but I think she will be going in the Hall of Fame very soon next up is for the deceased category and it is Vader Vader recently passed away in 2018 he was the first agile big guy superstar in the WWE being able to jump off the top rope as one of his signatures finishers it was amazing he was a star in the 80s and 90s he fought in ECW he fought in WWE and he did pass away in 2018 in my opinion I think he does deserve a spot in the Hall of Fame he had one hell of a gimmick. He was amazing. He was friendly. He was great in my opinion. So that is why I chose him for the deceased category. I could have picked quite a few others. Jim Neidhart also passed away in 2018. I almost picked him. And also the British Bulldog. I almost picked him. But I honestly see Vader going in first. That's why I decided to pick him for this category. Next up is JBL. JBL had one hell of a career. He held numerous titles. He held the hardcore championship more than any other WWE superstar in history. He had a very large impact with the Attitude Era, teaming with Farouk for APA. It was just amazing everything he has done. He later became the SmackDown general manager and then years later whenever he lost at WrestleMania to Rey Mysterio, he lost his Intercontinental Championship. He did leave the company for quite some time only to return at the commentary tables and he recently left WWE. I think he deserves Deserves a spot in the Hall of Fame. He had one hell of a career, had various job titles throughout WWE, and he is one hell of a guy. Next up is the recently retired Matt Hardy. Honestly, it was a very sad day when I learned that he had retired. He was one of my childhood stars, one of my favorites growing up, and it's sad to see that he retired. He returned with his brother Jeff Hardy at WrestleMania a few years ago and won the Raw Tag Team Championships. I think that was amazing. That was a huge accomplishment for him. Next year at WrestleMania, he won the Andre the Giant Battle Royale, which I think was amazing. And then later he teamed up with Bray Wyatt to win the Raw Tag Team Championships again. He's had early success in the WWE winning the tag team championships with his brother Jeff Hardy as well and he also won the ECW championship whenever he was in ECW he's had many titles throughout his career he's done so much he even had a rivalry with his brother Jeff Hardy at WrestleMania 25 which to me is one of the highlights one of the reasons why I am such a fan of WrestleMania 25. So without a doubt, even though he is a WWE producer currently, 
I think he's going to be going in the Hall of Fame pretty soon. I hope to see him in 2019 go in the Hall of Fame. I think that would be amazing. I think he definitely deserves it, and I can't wait to see it. Next up is Kane. Kane debuted in 1997. He won multiple titles with the WWE. He's had great rivalries throughout the career, and in July 2018, he became the mayor of Knox County. Honestly, I feel like Kane's WWE days are numbered. He is the mayor of Knox County now, so he does have other priorities outside side of WWE. He does have an insurance company as well, so I don't think he's going to be held down to WWE and he's only going to be working for WWE. I do think he is going to be having some returns. He recently showed up before WWE Super Showdown to help out The Undertaker take on Triple H and Shawn Michaels, choke slamming them both as a double choke slam. Honestly, it was amazing. I just don't see him coming back to the WWE full time. He has other priorities. He is a mayor, and I think that alone means he is going to be in the Hall of Fame pretty soon. I honestly, out of everybody I listed, I think he is the one that will definitely get inducted in 2019. Hopefully, that would be amazing to see in my opinion. He definitely deserves it. He has had one hell of a career with the WWE, won multiple titles, and I think if anybody on this list deserves it, he definitely does. And the last person I'm going to mention, it is somebody that I honestly wasn't going to put on this list because even though he was supposed to retire a few years ago and everybody assumed he was going to be in the Hall of Fame a few years ago, he still hasn't and he is still coming back to pay-per-views once in a while. But I am going to be putting him on this list for the headliner for 2019. Even though I don't see him actually getting inducted in 2019, I do know he is going to be a future Hall of Famer without a doubt and that is The Undertaker. The only reason I don't think WWE is going to be putting him in the Hall of Fame anytime soon is just the fact that he is making appearances. He was at WrestleMania. He was at the Greatest Royal Rumble. He was at WWE Super Showdown. He is making appearances here and there and I think WWE is trying to milk him out as much as they can just to get sales because WWE is suffering with sales right now. Honestly, as a fan, I think The Undertaker should retire. I think he should retire at the top of his game instead of how WWE is using him just to have a couple matches throughout the year, just so they get sales. I think Undertaker should actually retire in my opinion. Not to say that I'm not a fan of him, because I definitely am. I just want to see him at the top of his game retire, rather than WWE just keep him around just because of the name The Undertaker, and then have him wear himself out. I think that would be a really crummy way to retire and go into the Hall of Fame and leave the company. Having to wear yourself out just to get to that spot, I think he deserves it right now. 25 plus years in the WWE is amazing. His WrestleMania streak alone definitely means he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Multiple rivalries, multiple WrestleManias, multiple main events, everything he has done, he has deserved. His multiple gimmicks, I honestly love the 2000s whenever he was the biker gimmick, but then he went back into the dead man. So honestly, I see him going into the Hall of Fame. I did put him on this list for 2019, but... I just don't see him going into the Hall of Fame in 2019. So these are my predictions for 2019's WWE Hall of Fame. Like I said, I don't think these are all going to be inducted in 2019. This has basically been my master list of everybody that I think is going to be in the Hall of Fame, making it pretty much my all-star Hall of Fame if they were to ever do it. You know WWE doesn't induct this many stars every year, but it would be nice to see. So comment down below who you think is going to be inducted in 2019. Do you think I have anybody on this list right? Do you think anybody I just mentioned will be inducted in 2019? Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.